Libraries are some of the most incredible catalogs of human knowledge. Uh, whether you're picking up a book or looking for a space to gather, each offers something a little different. Natalie Nias went looking for the best of Minnesota. Your vote sent her to the Northfield Public Library. Okay, from the top. Once upon a time, little Marvin Ruben and Mir showed along. Millicent what they, they run suffered. and they snap. In telling the story of the Northfield Public Library, yeah, we have to together. turn the page back to Chapter 1, near the turn of the century, where we meet our hero, Andrew Carnegie. In 1910, uh, he contributed $10,000 to build this library. $10,000 went a long way back then. The beautiful brick and woodwork still stand today, helping pave Northfield's road to literacy. Millicent loved her new pet. But the town eventually began to outgrow the 1910 building. So they expanded in the 80s and again in 2016. It's a really cool space. There's sunlight. It's contemplative. The newest space, the atrium, ties the old with the new. Carnegie's work still visible. The atrium actually has been functioning as kind of a mm, meet and greet your neighbor space. On the average, more than 600 people come through the doors a day, and in a, a town of 20,000, that's pretty good. But while the expanding book collection and building make up this more than 100-year-old library, it's inside where the real growth is happening. Wow, everything is fine. I'm still here, you're still reading, and it is a pretty good story. Teresa Jensen, the library director, <laughs> says families make up some of their best and most passionate users. I would say two-thirds of them are parents and their children, and so um, that is really important. And their contributions, one of the reasons the library was able to complete a stunning $3 million renovation just this last year. The library is really an anchor to downtown. I can't imagine downtown without it. Teresa says their patrons use their whole collection, ebooks, video, music, and beyond, but the books are still boss. And actually, they're, they're pretty happy with having that physical thing in their hands. Because even with the changing times and technology, libraries are here to stay. He's in a van. What? <laughs> in Northfield, it's their place to discover an appreciation for the written word. Let's finish this. And help carry on a legacy. The end. The end. The end. We're the Northfield Public Library. And we're the best of Minnesota. Yay! They weren't so quiet in the library. <laughs> Northfield Public Library has lots of events like story time for kids, book groups, even yoga classes in the atrium, wow. as you can see there. If you want more information, we've posted a link at WCCO.com slash links. And coming up next for them, they're going to try and raise funds for a new bookmobile. Oh, how was that? Yeah, mobile kind of library yeah. that they can bring around town. Love the place is beautiful. No, it was beautiful. Yeah, you two Gorgeous. both like libraries. Yeah, I do. I do. It, I like it all was of it. it was fun to be there. We yeah. had a lot of fun. Good. And they have uh, they're in Northfield, so you were saying that they have some uh, what is oh Jesse event? James Day. Yeah, the James defeat James of Jesse James Day is going on this weekend. So if you're heading down there for that, check out the library while you're at it, right yeah. downtown. Okay. That's a big deal. Okay, Get next it. week we are looking for the best waffles well, in hello. Minnesota. You know, waffles are kind of having a moment if you've noticed. On menus right is now. Is it a comeback? It's a like a awful. thing. Yeah, so tweet me your pick at Natalie Nias. You can email it to nias at wcco.com or you can post it to our WCCO Facebook page.